And Kamara, AK-47 as he's known, cannot put it away. And it will be a corner to Fulham. Well, I know he's quite an unfashionable player in some people's minds, but there's Mitrovic breaking through. He's got beyond Diop, tries to cut back, and maybe he should have just continued his run there into the area. And uh, Val Buena got a foot in, and West Ham can come away with the ball. And they lack pace. They haven't got the pace. You look at them, they haven't got great speedy players. Oh boy, he's been caught out there by Anderson. Anderson breaking into the box. Anderson lays it back. Scores! And it's 1 0 to West Ham. And the Scotsman, who's in a rare, rare form at the moment, runs to the West Ham fans who packed out the away and the wave to our left. And they are celebrating raucously because that was a mistake by Odoi. Went off his feet, couldn't get the ball away from Anderson, who broke into the box. He had the awareness to pick out Snodgrass, who was loitering with intent on the edge of the D, and he picked out the top corner. Great goal. West Ham lead here at Fulham by goal to nil. Well, they can't say they haven't carved out chances. Oh, they've had opportunities, and they just, I just wonder if they're going to end up regretting them in the end, Fulham. Anderson, he can pick across, it's in towards Hernandez, flicked on, it's Antonio in the back post, 2-0 to West Ham, and Fulham who've had chances through Kamara and Mitrovic and wasted them, have seen West Ham when the opportunity has presented itself being absolutely clinical. West Ham lead here at Fulham by two goals to nil. Well, it's all over here at Craven Cottage. West Ham did the damage in the first half and they were happy to almost coast through the second period because the uh, damage was done, as I say, through goals from Snodgrass and Antonio in the first period. And it means that West Ham have won four Premier League games in a row for the first time in over four years.